My name is Matt, I work at FR Jones & Son and today I'm going to show you how to change a recoil rope on a chainsaw like this one. So what you'll need is a, a lighter, flathead screwdriver, long nose pliers, T27 Torx bar, some scissors and your recoil rope. This is an MS181 and it takes 3mm recoil rope and it's 800mm, 80cm, whichever way you want to look at it. So to start with, you need access to the recoil because what typically happens is, you, is you've got an old snotty recoil rope and it could be could be broken like that. So the first thing you want to do is take off the filter cover, which is this. So you snap that back and lift this out of place and what that does, that reveals a screw there. So that's the first one to come out. And then you've got that one, that one. This one is a different one because that's got a built-in wash around it. So remember where it's come from. I'm using a T-bar and you can use you know, a driver if you want, but make sure that your torque setting is no higher than seven. So to get this off of here, we just prise it away, lift it over like that, then your recoil should come away like so. And that exposes your recoil mechanism. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it apart and go from scratch. So with your long nose pliers, you want to prise this clip off. Remembering how it came off, because obviously your little black pole, your lug goes into there. Take that off. Take your old washer off. And you want to dispose of your old rope, pull him out. It goes in the bin. And while you're at it, check it out here. So the first thing that you want to do is sort the ends of your recoil rope out because they're they're furry like this. So you get your lighter. A bit of heat. And with your old rag, pull it into a point. And at the other end, you do a figure of eight knot. I'm not going to teach you how to do a figure of eight knot because, well, I'm not a fisherman, and there'll be plenty of other YouTube videos that will, that will teach you that. So, a figure of eight knot, and then put some heat onto that. So it won't come apart. So the first thing is to thread your rope through your recoil handle. Second thing, thread your rope into the recoil itself and then thread your rope into the recoil spool. Now my point's a little bit long on there so I'm just going to nip it down a little bit. in, pull it through, and we'll figure, of, uh, figure of eight knot goes in there. Like so. And then you're going to wind your rope around your recoil that way, because as it pulls it out, that's, that's the way it's going to pull it. Now you are going to be left with a little bit of slack, but we're going to take care of that in just a moment. So we pull it on, just make sure that it's engaging with the spring. And the pull goes in. And then your washer goes on. And then your R-clip. Just make sure that your, 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 the lug from your pole goes into your R-clip there. And the easiest way is to pull it over putting the curved bits in first and then snapping the flat bit over there. So you've got a bit of slack, so pull this out. You might be able to get it with your fingers. If you can't, then use your long nose pliers. And you just need to wrap the rope around the spool one more time. And that will give you the extra bit of tension. 
like that. It's important that you use three mil rope and not anything thicker. If you use anything thicker, then it won't all fit on there. Um, but other than that, rebuild it in the reverse way that you took it apart, and that's how you do it. So that's how you replace a recoil rope on a chainsaw. I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.